Good afternoon, everybody. How are you all doing? This is Dr. Nandi. Today, we are going to solve a problem on AP stats on central limit theorem. Um, but I would like to uh, mention that in my channel at You Can Do Math, I have solved all kinds of stat problems just to help you out. So do not hesitate anymore. Subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner because then you're you will have free access to all kinds of stat problems solved just for you. So without uh, further ado, we will get started by sharing my screen with you. A businessman named Wiley decided to start a chocolate factory. He buys several machines to fill the bags with chocolates and is interested to find how equally the machine fill the bags, machines fill the bags. He programs the machine to put an average of 30 grams of chocolate in each bag with a standard deviation of 4.5 grams. He then randomly selects 100 of the bags this machine filled. What is the probability that the mean amount per bag of chocolate in his sample is less than 29 grams. And there are five options given to us for, for the probability value. The solution mu is 30, sigma is 4.5, n is 100, sample size is 100. We will consider the sampling distribution of probability distribution of sample means. And I've drawn a bell shaped curve to show you the sampling distribution. It's mean mu x bar, is equal to mu equal to 30. Sampling distribution is the probability distribution of sample means x bar. That's why you have x bar values on the horizontal axis, okay? So mu x bar or the mean of the sampling means is equal to mean of the population equal to 30. This comes from central limit theorem. And sigma x bar, which is the standard deviation of the sampling distribution, sometimes also called standard error, is sigma divided by square root of n. Now, sigma is 4.5, n is 100. So sigma x bar is 4.5 divided by square root of 100 or 4.5 divided by 10, which is 0.45. To find the probability that x bar sample mean is less than 29, we will use TI-84. We will press the second key then the worst key, which is in the third row, and then scroll down to number two, normal CDF and enter. So remember, we are finding the area to the left of 29 in the sampling distribution curve. So we start from a lower value of very large negative number, which is in our calculator minus one E99. How do I do that? Minus, I press the minus next to enter, then I press the second button and then the comma button. This will give me the E and then I type 99. So I'll have minus one E 99 as the lower boundary for the area which I want to find out. My upper boundary is I'm stopping at 29. My mean is 30. My standard deviation is 0.45, not 4.5. It's 0.45 because I'm considering the uh, sampling distribution whose standard deviation is lower than the standard deviation of the variable, okay? So here we are talking about the standard deviation of the sampling distribution. And then we will put our cursor on PEST and hit enter and enter, and we get probability of X bar less than 29 is 0 0.0131, which is answer choice B, and the correct answer is B. I will stop here today. I'll come back next time with another interesting problem solved all for you. So subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button. And if you have a question or comment, please write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. You can also contact me by my through my WhatsApp number, which is listed in the description panel, bottom of the description panel. So take care. Have a nice day. See you.